Hi friends, welcome back to Bosco Campus Vision. Today we are going to discuss the topic ASP.NET Life Cycle in Visual Programming Paper for Semester 5 BCA students. ASP.NET Life Cycle When an ASP.NET application is launched, there are some steps which is carried out. These series of steps make up the life cycle of application. Let's look what are the various stages of life cycle first one application start then object creation then http application creation then dispose and finally application end first one is application start eppo oru asp.net application launch cheyunu appo thana ee Paranya step gala, first step by application start uh, that is the life cycle of an ASP.NET application starts when a request is made by a user or a user um, idhile ekkir request kodukkunna situation a oru time ila thanna e application start phase uh, start e request in the web server lake asp.net application vendi ulla request aana. web server lake kodukkunna request aanu uh, ee application start la request kodukkunnathu vadi begin cheyyanathu this happens when the first user normally goes to the home page for the application for first time adhe or application like user eto maadhyamayite enter cheyna situation la irikkum ee application start ennu varanja phase thodangathu ee or time la during this time there is a method called application start which is executed by the web server ee or first time user ee page like enter cheyna samayathu ee application start ennu varayna method execute cheyapedu web server vali application start execute yapadu adhimai user ee page visit cheyana samayath second one is object creation angane enter cheyda request koduthu uh, application start uh, phase nadanadhinu shesham rendamadayittu nadakkunathu object creation aanu in this stage uh, the creation of http context HTTP request and HTTP response by the web server. Abam HTTP context in DM, HTTP request and HTTP response. Web server in the context request response. Itrium kairingala, e u stage le create out. That is object creation le narakanana, e muna kairingala. And it will, the uh, HTTP context is just the container for. HTTP request and HTTP response objects. E request response objects in your container mathramani HTTP context and one another. And the HTTP request object contains information about the current request, including the cookies and the browser information. E HTTP request object in the canon chala current it user koduthittulla request adhaidu aa piece of information um adu browser kodutha information um idella aayirikkum ee http request object la undaaga and http response object la nu arayumbodhekkum the response that is sent to the client ee request ne adisthana peduthi client ne kodutha response aayirikkum response object la so HTTP context, HTTP request and HTTP response. This is the three stage to create. Adil, HTTP context is the request and response object in the container. That is request and the current request and information. That is the cookies, browser information. And response le, e request in uh, base is the client in the code response. I reckon your HTTP response object belongs here. Third one is HTTP application creation. 
This object is created by the web server. This e application creation web server is created. Uh, this uh, object uh, help chale, is used to process each subsequent request sent to the application. Application like request process and help HTTP application creation. For example, assume random web applications are run run chain. That is a shopping cart application. That is a news website. For each application, we would have two HTTP application object created. This one application we need to separate it from random object applications created. So further request, any further request to the to each website would be processed by each HTTP application respectively. Now, this website like and the web application like all further requests will all the corresponding HTTP application like go uh, create, uh, create the application like boy process here put in the so uh, or uh, uh, HTTP uh, uh, applications corresponding uh, Web application is based on the developer. There is a web application that is the corresponding HTTP application. Create. So, further uh, queries or requests are created. He HTTP created the HTTP application. That is the process. Fourth one is dispose. Uh, application instance destroys the event. This event is called before the application instance is destroyed. During this time, one can use this method to manually release any unmanaged resources. So, dispose in the process this unmanaged resources manually release and dispose of the event. So, the application instance destroy unmanaged resources release and dispose of the event. And the last one is application ends. This is the final part of the application. In this part, the application is finally unloaded from memory. So, this stage in the eight hours and the part is now in memory. This is unloaded in the application. That is the stage in the end of the application. So, we have an ASP.NET life cycle. We have discussed the stages of life cycle. Discuss application start, object creation, HTTP application creation, dispose, and application ends. Assignment question Explain the ASP.NET life cycle in detail with the help of a diagram. Hope you all understand this video. Thank you for watching Bosco Campus Vision. Bye.